In Franklin County, we take another look at the Benton Square that's so full of history, much of it tied to the courthouse. News 3's John Ross spoke with a couple of business owners today on the square who reflect on the soon to be demolished structure. Managing partner of Drew Law Group, Brian Drew, has been working in and around the Franklin County Courthouse since he was a teenager. Even before I was an attorney, I was in it a lot working. Um, the uh, bailiff there, Linda, used to laugh when I came in. I walked with a real heavy step, and she said, uh, one of these days you're going to fall straight through those stairs down into the basement. As he prepares to watch the building go, he remembers what to him made it unique. It was different than a lot of courthouses. It wasn't large and you had because of that it created a lot more of an intimate feeling as you were within a foot of uh, many of the jurors or people when you're trying a case. Of course, part of what made it so special to Drew and many others was the history it had seen. When that building was built, um, we had 37 states. Uh, in 18, I believe it was 1874, which it's older than the Statue of Liberty. Joe Sprague, owner of the county seat antique mall, says the historical significance can even be tied to some of the items he sells, but is overall looking to the future. I know that none of us like to see the, the historical part of it being lost, uh, but I also can look forward and see the positive side of updating and uh, a little more modern uh, facility. So I'm kind of excited to see what's coming too. I think our square here and the courthouse is a unique thing that, do, that doesn't exist in a lot of places anymore. Um, and I think, I, I just hope that when they build uh, the new courthouse, uh, that the people of this county and, in, and of this community are proud of it. The blend of the new courthouse with these old historic buildings, the blending of the history uh, and the new together uh, could really make something special here. Reporting in Benton, John Ross, News 3. Sprague says the county seat antique mall and nearby businesses fear that folks will think they're closed due to the construction. He says that's not true, and he reminds visitors that parking is still available as well on the outside of the square.